What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about what you should be doing before Monday hits or Tuesday, depending on what region you live in. In America, it releases on August the 13th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you live somewhere else other than the United States, look at the link in the description for a referral to exactly when and what time it is gonna be for your country or your area that you live in. As of right now, however, we're gonna be talking about exactly what you should be doing before BFA releases on Monday for me or Thursday for the rest of the world. When it comes down to it, this list is not a perfect science and this is just my opinion of what I focus on before an expansion launches and I think the rest of you should take advantage of it to the best of your ability and please put as much effort as you can into getting this done in a timely fashion. You've only got a few days, so good luck to the rest of y'all and here's the list starting with completing the War of Thorns campaign in the battle for Lord Ron on your main character. No, 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 I know what you're saying. Duh, obviously this must be something that most people know off the bat. Of course, I need to complete the prequel quests in order to get into the main area of the new expansion but what you may not know is that once you complete these main quests the next quest for all your alts is immediately skippable so if you go back right now on any of your alts to try to do anything related to the war of thorns campaign or battle for lordaeron as long as it's on the same faction you did it on as in if you've done it on alliance you can't do this on horde obviously but if you go to the same factions area on one of your alts and try to start one of these quests up you'll have also have an option to skip it now when you skip the actual quest you're going to be ported to the second part of the War of War Thorns campaign. You never go straight past the entire War of Thorns campaign. They want you to experience the middle part for some reason. I feel like that's a bug in some way. I feel like they probably just didn't think about it. But since the War of Thorns is broken up into two parts, the second part is not skippable, so you will have to do that part of content. But once you've done the first part, once you've actually finished it on your main character, you can skip it completely. Go do the second part, which is pretty quick. It's only a few quests. Witness uh, Sarfang doing his thing. Go and do the cinematic and see all the terrible things that happen there. And then we're going to move on to Lordaeron itself. And we can skip that completely thanks to everyone being so kind and generous. We don't have to go through that area and queue for that again. We don't have to go do through the scenario. We don't have to see Anduin being amazing. We don't have to see any of that again. We can just skip straight through and get all of our alts ready and prepared in the main area ready for the next expansion. The only thing else that you might not know that you need to remember in case you want to get a jump on everyone else who's trying to get through the entire campaign at the very beginning. If you're rushing through this like I am, you probably need to know that if you go wherever you spawn, at when you're done with the, uh, the Battle for Lordaeron. When you're done with the Battle for Lordaeron, it'll spawn you and it'll say, go to some place to turn a quest in. When you go to that place to turn your quest in, right next to him will spawn an Earthen Ring Emissary from the next expansion. And you need to make sure that you are near him so that whenever you log in on the launch day, you can just sit there, accept the quest, get going, and get ahead of everyone else. It's safe to say that obviously whenever you first start, there will be no one there right now on live. If you're sitting next to the guy that you turn a quest in, uh, for the uh, Horde, it is right on top of the balcony above overlooking Orgrimmar with a bunch of people who are injured you will he will spawn right next to that group and for the alliance it's like right next to the harbor you'll turn your quest in and in that little hut where there is an overarching area above it you will see a earthen ring guy spawn there and it's pretty much just him calling Magni calling you back to Silithus to turn in your quest for the Azerite necklace next on our list might seem very obvious to you but get your professions in line and ready for the next expansion and to refrain myself from saying the word expansions 18 plus times let's just say that I I'm talking about the next expansion period. Make sure that you have a game plan for your profession specifically by the start of the expansion. Whether this be looking up good YouTubers like Want to Buy Gold or just looking at Wowhead in general for information, learning more and more about the professions that are available is going to cause you to be more prepared in general. Players who have major gold problems typically stem from the fact that they don't have a really good solid foundation for professions. At the very beginning, everyone is typically on a very equal playing field. Players who don't typically have gold will get an influx of gold just from questing. Instead of using that gold to buy that tempting mount or using it to attend your guild illegal gambling rings, I know who you are. Instead, focus on making sure your professions are as strong as they possibly can be and beat everyone else to the material punch and beat everyone else to the auction house in order to make sure you're monopolizing on your income before anyone else can so that you are doing well in the next expansion and you're not so broke you can stop asking for loans from that shifty rogue who keeps asking you to come alone down in this weird ass sewer system for secret meetings and blood oaths. Shady 
deals with undead rogues aside, the best way for you to get better at professions is just by practicing, uh, looking up guides, and learning through YouTube videos, and hopefully you'll have a better understanding so that you're better off in the next expansion. The next tip on my list is something that is probably for your second playthrough, if you really want to see the story of the next expansion, you really want to be engaged with it, you probably don't want this, but one of the biggest suggestions I have is Leetrix Plus. This is a add-on that you add, and it is a quest automator and an action automator. You can basically go through and have this add-on automatically do certain things it's really easy it's an install pretty much already set up for you you open up the program you press yes i would like to accept all quests yes i'd like to go through all the gossip the gossip that little bubbles that pop up when you open up certain quests yes i would like all the cinematics to be immediately skipped these are things that will be addressed through this add-on and extremely helpful if you're trying to rush through content as fast as you possibly can if you're like me and you're really interested in the story but you still want to rush through in the very beginning what i always end up doing is i hop on to mmo champion on the first day of the launch and while i'm questing i open up all of the cinematics and watch them on the other screen while i'm doing my quest this is something i highly suggest doing if you're very serious about the game and you want to get through as fast as possible although it's definitely not required you should really experience the content as it comes to you if you're really looking for that extra edge then really take this advice and try to do that as much as possible next it should go without saying but turn war mode on for your main character now i know what some of you're saying guys i don't like to level with groups i hate leveling groups i want to level solo I don't want to turn on war mode and get ganked over and over and over and over again. And look, I hear you, man. Really, I do. I, I completely understand where you're coming from, but the thing you need to understand is that you don't need to worry about that in the beginning. At the launch of the expansion, compared to other expansions, we're going to be starting in two different areas. The Horde's going to be getting Zoldazar, and the Alliance are going to be getting Kol Taras. At some point, these do intersect, but it's far later, and people are way leveled up at that point to do that. And at the very beginning of the expansion, people aren't going to be 105, 108 in the first hour or so. So as long as you're starting off slow, doing all your stuff, going through the content at your pace, and you're starting at the very same point that everyone else is, pretty much there's going to be no alliance in your area, or there's, not, there's going to be no horde in your area, depending on where you start. If you're still worried and you think that's going to be an issue, you still have the option to group with friends. Although I do not suggest this because you never know what your friends are doing if you guys are playing together you might have to wait for someone and i never like doing that in a group setting so i typically don't end up grouping with anyone sure if for some reason i need to kill a monster that is unable to be killed by me i'll group with someone but for the most part i like the solo quest it's a lot faster and i'm a lot better at it the last suggestion i have and it's something that you should just focus on throughout the expansion next expansion is that ever so often once you're questing if you can stop back in your main city like orgrimmar or even go to dalaran i think if you're an engineer you can still go look at the auction house go check the auction house and check and see if there are any scrolls that increase your reputation gained by your quests or your world quests and make sure that if you see any experience point gems that you can be socketed into your gear grab those too it's going to make your leveling a lot faster especially if you're a jc if you're a jc you're going to have these available almost immediately and that's awesome so make sure you get that and you do that immediately to make sure you have the best advantage to leveling the last tip i have for you guys the one that should have been done already honestly is make sure that you get rid of everything in your bank, everything in your bags, everything that is related to Legion needs to be sold off and gotten rid of. If you haven't done it yet, which you should have done before the patch happened, honestly, the pre-patch, you should have had it all pretty much liquidated. But if you have a guild bank full of stuff from this expansion, or you have a lot of stuff from uh, the other expansions that maybe you aren't using as much, make sure you're liquidating all these things and get as much gold out of it as possible and getting rid of these things. Also, make sure that your character is fully stocked on the brand new bags of the expansion. When the expansion first began, a lot of the bags cost way too much and i completely understand why you didn't buy them but by now most of the bags that are current are pretty cheap and you should buy those and refill your character out make sure he's got as much bag space as possible make sure all the stuff in his bag is sold off and make sure everything that's useless to you is either put in your bank or sold so that when the next expansion starts you're not having to go back and forth to your bank going back and forth to the auction house getting everything messed with at that point you don't want to be messing with anything but the new content so make sure you have all of that set and i promise you'll have a great time when the expansion rolls around with that all said and done guys that is my top tips for what you should be doing before the expansion launches and hopefully when the expansion launches you'll have a better idea of what you should be doing actively through it if you guys like the video please leave a like down below if you dislike it please dislike it and tell me what you feel in the comments because i love talking to you guys no matter what your issue is i love having a discussion with you guys please hit the subscribe button please hit the bell icon to let it notify you if you have a suggestion on the next video please the best way to contact me is through twitter or to contact me on the comments of the videos that i make so if you want to leave a comment or make it make a suggestion for the next video please tell me as soon as possible
possible and I'll try my best to make that. The people who commented on my last video, here they are and they are awesome. I love you guys support no matter what kind of content I make. You guys tend to always make a message or make a reply or have some kind of sort of discussion in the comments so I appreciate it so so much and before I leave I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be streaming over at twitch.tv slash amshady a-m-s-h-a-d-e-y if you're interested in watching me whenever the expansion goes live just come by and say hi let me know what you guys think and hopefully we can have a really nice stream for the whole day almost I'm going to stream almost the entire time I'm playing BFA and the next day and the next day and the next day so if you're interested in participating in that and saying hello and just getting to know me a little better I'm going to be there so just let you guys know from as soon as the expansion launches at 6 p.m. EST my time in North America all the way through to probably the end of the week I'm going to be streaming on and off so just come by and say hi and there'll be more info later on about the Twitch links and the Twitch times all linked in a video coming soon so just let me know how you guys feel about the video and I hope to see you guys soon and I have been Am Shady, I have been Amarath, I have been everything that I am and I hope you guys have a great day. Peace. So